work on the head. Brain. Just be nice, okay. <laughs> so we'll start seated. You should have a block. Um, we can reach out to the top of the mat. And just find comfort in a seat. So just finding a little length in the spine, palms to the thighs, uh, to the knee, sorry. Just find a little length in the spine as you take a deep breath in. Dropping the shoulders, breath out. Just take some time to arrive here on your mat, in the space, in the body. You can find a little length in the breath. Just take a moment to scan through the body, check in with how you feel physically. Just note where there's space in the body, lack of space. And then just notice the direction, the quality of thought. And you could just flip the palms open to the sky. Just take a moment to invite in an emotion. Invite in energy. Invite in intention. Inviting in anything that you wish to receive or experience or feel for this practice, for this day, this week, moving ahead. And you can keep the eyes closed. And you can continue to cultivate that intention and match that vibration of what it is that you wish to feel. But you can continue, you can begin to slide the feet, the soles of the feet out in front of you. So the position of the legs are like a diamond. So the heel's not close to the base of the spine, but drawn away. And you can just begin to slide the elbows down towards the shins, the palms open to the sky and just bow in. It may feel right to move a little side to side, Swaying the body, just allowing the space to open up. Maybe you come in a little bit deeper and then you can choose to pause here and just be with the breath. Feel the breath expand into the body. Maybe feel it between the shoulder blades up into the shoulders. As you exhale, allow the belly to soften. Inhaling. Exhaling. This last couple of breaths. And you can slowly just begin to rise up and bring those hands back behind you. And you can just bring the soles of the feet to the floor and you can rock those knees a little side to side. Feel free just to soften the gaze as you continue to connect to the energy, the vibration of what it is that you're wishing to attract. Welcome in, feel. 
And then you'll drop those knees over to the right side. And you'll just take a twist back. So you can tend through the fingers, you can lift the chest a little, and then exhale. Maybe bend into the elbows as you drop the chest down towards the floor, just a halfway point. Inhaling, lifting the chest a little, flowing with the breath. And then exhale, bending the elbows a little, dropping the chest. A couple more breaths, inhaling, lifting. And twisting back, exhaling, twist back. Other side. No, no. Look back. There we go. And then on your next inhale, you can come up. You can bring those hands back through center and you'll drop that left sole to the uh, floor, right ankle on top. And you can start to walk those hands in. Maybe you shuffle the hips close towards the heel. Again, you can just move a little side to side. So you begin to come aware of sensation and keep that right foot flexed let's protect the joints and then you can release that right leg you can take it out long and you'll take the left sole of the foot to the inside we'll begin to walk forward walk the hands forward and fold in you can passively fold here or actively as you draw that foot in, chest towards thigh. You can take a flex of the foot. Last breath, find a little length and depth. Next, inhale, you can begin to rise up. You can take that left hand back behind you, press through that left knee and lift those hips up to the sky, reaching right arm, squeezing the glutes. Gaze to those fingertips. And then slowly drop those hips down towards the floor. Right, we'll take those knees to bend, soles of the feet to the floor. And again, we'll just knock the knees side to side. And we'll drop the knees over to the left and we'll take that twist back. So turning to the back of the room, tent onto the fingers, lift the chest as you inhale and then fold halfway in, exhale. Moving with the breath, inhale, creating space. And then exhale, folding in. Just for three more. Two. Inhaling, last exhale, and then moving back through center. So face me, right foot on the floor, left ankle on top. You can slide the hips towards the heel, the hands towards the buttocks. You can lift the chest, roll, roll those shoulders back. And again, you can just move those hips a little side to side. Mm, that feels so good. <laughs> And then you can still for a few breaths, lifting. Last breath. Good, and then release. You can take that left leg long, right sole of the foot to the inside. And then you can begin to walk those hands forward, bowing in over that left leg. Again, you choose whether you want that passive stretch or active, maybe take hold of the foot or the leg. Draw the chin in. Maybe feel the belly against the thigh. And then on your next inhale, you can lift the chest. You can walk that right hand back behind you. Fingers point away. Press through that right knee, left foot. Lift those hips up. Squeeze the glutes. Reach back. And then exhale, you'll drop those hips back down towards the floor. You can extend both legs out. Shake them out. And then you'll 
Bring both soles of the feet back in, fingertips to face the buttocks, press through the soles of the feet, lift those hips, and then roll those shoulders back. Maybe take that gaze back, dropping the head between the shoulders. Maybe moving a little fold and back. Two. And one, we'll drop the buttocks down. We'll come into a tabletop. So if it's available to you, roll over the knees. Find yourself in this position, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. We'll just begin to move those hips around in circles. So hips back towards the heels and then hips forward. And then change direction. And then we'll press those hips back to a child's pose. You can have the knees splayed or together and you just drop the head, the third eye to the mat. You can move the hips a little side to side. Just taking a few moments to settle with the breath. And as you press through the palms of the hands, you can begin to round through the back body, sliding the hands in a little closer to the knees, rounding up. And then tucking those toes, arcing through the lower back as you press hips back towards heels and then coming to downward facing dog. You can take some time to press out through the heels. So I invite you to drop one heel, bend the opposite knee, lift the hips up a little higher, chest a little closer to the thighs. And then switch legs, dropping the other heel, bending the opposite knee, hips up a little higher, chest a little closer. And then you can pedal out the feet the way that you wish. Think about softening the elbows, so bending the elbows, shoulders up towards the ears, finding this protraction and retraction of the spine. And shake the head a little side to side. Grip the mat with the fingertips, the knuckles. And then when you're ready, you can still in downward facing dog. So just check in with your alignment as you gaze back towards the heels, they're slightly hidden. See where you can pick the toes up off the mat a little and soften the heels a little closer to the earth. So toes up, heels down, yeah. Active thighs. Begin to cultivate an ujjayi breath. By locking the back of the throat, we create the sound of the ocean. And by locking the back of the throat, we begin to activate jhana mudra, uh, jhana bandha, jala bandha, the Bandha for water. So I invite you to flow through this practice today. Move with ease, with grace. We'll take that right leg up to the sky. Sweep it up. You can point through those toes. On an exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round, step it forward, top of the mat. Reach those arms up to the sky. Drop that back knee. All right, knee drops, arms up to the sky, low lunge. Good. And then on your exhale, bring those hands to the floor and then just shift those hips back. Good. Move with the breath, inhale, lift the chest, sweep those arms up. And then exhale, fold, straighten, hips back. Good. Inhale, move forward, Anjaneyasana. Last one, exhale, draw back, fold over that straight front leg. Next, inhale, step forward into that right foot. Left foot comes forward, top of the mat, and then fold. You can take ragdoll, you can sway a little side to side. You can deeply bend those knees or straighten one and then the other. And then you'll release those hands from the elbows, bend knees, sweep the arms up, inhale. Then palms to meet. And then exhale, we'll fold back down over top of the legs. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through spine. Exhale, two steps back, plank pose. As you draw forward, shoulders come over the wrists. And then exhale, lower to the floor. Inhale, cobra pose, lift up. Exhale, press back, child's pose, tuck those toes. And inhale, round through upper back, draw forward. And then exhale, downward facing dog, hips back. 
left leg goes high, inhale, sweep it up, point the toe. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round, step it forward. Drop right knee, Anjaneyasana, sweep arms up, moving with your breath. And then exhale, bringing those hands down and shift back to fold over that left leg. Use the blocks if you need. Inhale, shifting forward, reaching up. Gaze up. And then exhale, bowing in, drawing hips back. Inhale, lift arms up, open chest. And then exhale, folding. Next, inhale, shift, fold, bend that left knee, right foot comes next to the left and fold. Again, take a rag doll, shape, move a little side to side. If you like, you can bob up and down. And then we'll bend the knees together, sweep those arms up, palms to meet. Open the chest and then exhale, palms of the hands to heart space. Arms up, inhale. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen through spine. Exhale, plank pose. Inhale, shoulders forward. Exhale, lower. Inhale, cobra pose. Tuck toes, press back. And then shift downward facing dog. Right leg goes high, inhale, sweep it up. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round, step it forward, drop left knee down to the floor, sweep those arms up, inhale, bring palms to meet, exhale. Twist to the right, hook left elbow, inhale, press palms together, look back, exhale, two. Inhaling, as you exhale, come back through center, sweep arms up. Reach up and then exhale, hands to frame that foot, left leg high, standing split. As you exhale, fold over that right leg. Inhale, halfway lift, drop that left foot, exhale, fold. Center, reach up in. Exhale, palms of the hands, heart space. Inhale, mini back bend if you'd like. Exhale, fold. Halfway lift, lengthen through spine. Exhale, plank pose, step or lightly hop and then lower through your vinyasa. Maybe you come halfway, maybe you drop the knees. Adva Mukha or Cobra. Exhale, Adva Mukha, downward facing. Left leg goes high, sweep it up. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round, step it forward, drop right knee down, Anjane Asana, sweep the arms up with grace and then exhale, palms of the hands, heart space. Twist to the left, hook right elbow, press palms, inhale, gazing back, exhale, two, inhaling, return, exhale through center, reach those arms up, inhale, lift, exhale, hands to frame that foot, right leg high, standing split, exhale. Inhale, lift the chest halfway, drop right foot, and then fold in. Stand tall, inhale, reach up. Exhale, palms of the hands, heart space. Reach up, inhale. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen. Exhale, plank pose, step or float, lower, slow, elbows stay in. Lift the chest, inhale, cobra, urdva, mukha. Exhale, Adva Mukha, downward facing. Right leg goes high, sweep it up. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round, step it forward, drop that back knee. We're adding on, reach those arms up to the sky. Go, then bring those hands back down to the earth, we'll fold, drawing that hip, back toes up to the nose. Shift forward, inhale, crescent, um, <laughs> Anjane Asana, low lunge. And then bring the palms of the hands to heart space. Yeah. This time we'll twist, we'll hook that left elbow and maybe we take that right hand behind the back, maybe to reach for a bind. If you want, you can use that right hand to help you to reach for that finger. Two. One, inhale back through center, reach up. Exhale, frame the foot, left leg high. Exhale, standing split. Inhale, halfway lift. 
Drop that leg, foot, exhale in. Stand tall, inhale. And then exhale, palms of the hands, heart space. Inhale. And exhale. Flow with your breath. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step, float back. Lower. Rise, inhale. Exhale, downward facing. Left leg goes high, reach it up. Exhale, draw knee in, round, step foot forward, top of the mat, drop right knee, sweep arms up. And then hands down, fold over that left leg, tap that back toe, toes to the nose. Inhale, shift forward, reach arms up. And then exhale, palms of the hands, heart space, twist to the left, hook right elbow. Option to take that right hand underneath or that left hand behind the back for a deeper twist. Three. Two. Uh, one, release, inhale, reach arms up. Exhale, frame the foot, right foot steps or up. Exhale, fold, halfway lift, inhale. And then exhale, right foot down. Inhale, stand tall. Exhale, palms of the hands, heart space. Reach those arms up. Fold forward. Lift, lengthen, inhale. Exhale, plank pose, vinyasa. Choose to skip this at any point. Lift the chest, peel shoulders back, and then exhale, hips back. Take that right leg high and then open the hip up as you exhale, bend the knee. Take three big circles with that knee. Two. And one, open that hip up, straighten the leg, and then exhale, draw right knee in towards the nose. Round, step it forward, crescent lunge. Lift that back knee up off the earth. Reach those arms up. And then on your exhale, bring those hands to the earth and we'll stay high up onto the toes of that back foot and then lift the toes of the right if it's available. Use the blocks if you need. Next, inhale, bend into that front knee, sweep those arms up. And then exhale, hands to the floor, straighten that front leg, maybe lift those toes, chin towards the shin. Inhale, lift up. And then exhale, fold. Draw toes back, hips high. Inhale, lift up. And, and then exhale, palms of the hands to heart space. We'll twist, hook left elbow onto that knee. Extend through that left heel. Maybe open up the palms of the hands. One reaches towards the floor. One reaches to the sky. Stack that heel on top of the foot, Jamie. Nice. And then on your next inhale, crescent lunge, sweep those arms up, inhale. Good. And then exhale, hands to the floor, left leg high, standing split, exhale, fold, chin into shin. Halfway lift, extend through that heel, this time in line with the hip. Good. You can flex the foot and then you can bend, soft bend in that right knee, sweep those hands back, warrior three. Grounding through that right foot, Lifting through chest. Good. And then left foot next to the right. Ukitasana. Inhale, bending those knees. Exhale, fold forward. Halfway lift, lengthen through spine. Exhale, vinyasa, step or float. Lower, slow. Nice, Sue. Inhale, peel the chest up, shoulders back. Downward facing, exhale. Left leg goes high, inhale, reach it up. Open that hip up, bend the knee. Take three big circles with the knee as gracefully as you can. Two and one. Inhale, extend that leg long, open the hip. Exhale, draw knee in towards the nose, round and step that foot forward, top of the mat. Keep that back knee lifted, crescent lunge, reach up. Right hip forward, and then bring those hands down to the floor. Straighten that front leg, use the blocks if you need, draw toes back to nose. Inhale, draw forward, bend front knee, reach up. And then exhale, hands down and we fold. Inhale, 
bend, reach, and then exhale, fold, toes back. Next, inhale, reach those arms up, bring the palms to the heart space, exhale. We twist over to the left hook, right elbow. Extend through that back heel, maybe open up the palms. One hand reaches towards the earth, one towards the sky. Bend a little bit deeper into that front knee. Two. One crescent lunge, sweep both arms up, inhale. Good, exhale, bring those hands down, frame the foot, right leg comes high, in line with the hip, lift the chest halfway. Good. And then we can start to bend that left knee a little, sweep those hands back, shoulders draw back, crown of the head reaches forward. Two. And one, bend that right knee, place it down next to the left, Ukatasana, inhale. And exhale, stantal. Take a moment, return to the breath. On your next inhale, Ukatasana. You can bring the feet together or at least the toes and allow a little gap between the heels. We'll bring the palms of the hands down to the heart space and we'll twist over to the right. Hook that left elbow, squeeze the knees together, inner thighs. And then sit those hips down. Draw that left knee back a little. Sit down a little bit deeper. Good. And then from here, you're going to take the gaze down to the corner of the mat. You're going to lift that left heel up off the floor. Use the, the wall if you need. Good. And then with control, we're stepping that left foot back onto the mat. Open the palms of the hands. If you did that before, reach up. From here, right hand behind the back, take hold of the t-shirt or maybe take that bind. Three. Two. Good, Abby. One, crescent lunge, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, warrior two. Spread those fingers, drop the shoulders. Align that knee on the ankle. I know it's burning. <laughs> Sit a little bit deeper. And then reach that right arm up to the sky, inhale. And then exhale, come back to warrior two, we'll straighten that front leg. Heel throw that back toe in. Keep that left hip reaching out, right hand reaches forward and we just bring it down to the inside. Use the block, left arm reaches up. So we're tucking hips under, pressing through the ball of that front foot. And then maybe reaching that left hand towards me, top of the mat. Breathe into that left side body. Breathe into the right. Next, inhale, reverse trikonasana, right palm of the hand flips up, right leg stays straight. Right. And then exhale, cartwheel those hands down to the floor, step that left foot in, three to four foot. Press through the ball of the foot, we'll reach those hands out towards the back of the room. From here, you can take those hands to the elbows. Right. Lift the chest, lengthen the spine. And then on your next exhale, you can fold in. Chin towards the shin. For three. Two. And one. Lift the chest, lengthen the spine, keep hold of the elbows. Good. And then reach those hands out behind you. Bend that right knee, left foot steps forward. Ukatasana, inhale. Sit low, exhale. We twist over to the left, right elbow hooks. Draw right knee back, squeeze inner thighs together and drop those hips down. Sit low. Maybe open up the palms of the hands. And then from here, you'll take that gaze down to the corner of the mat, maybe bring the hands back together. You lift that right foot up from the mat. With control, you'll step it back into a twist. Drop the knee if you need. If you would like to try it, bind that hand behind the back, maybe that right hand underneath the thigh. 
sit down a little bit deeper, so two, one, crescent lunge, inhale, reach those arms up, exhale, warrior two, just soften into this left knee, close the eyes for a moment and settle into that exhalation. Sit a little bit deeper. And then flip that palm up to the sky, reverse. And then exhale back to warrior two. Straighten that front leg, heel toe that back foot in. Reach forward, right hip stays out. Left hand just travels down towards the shin, right arm up. So we're not collapsing through left side body, but we're lifting through left, lifting through right. Open shoulder, chest, hips, heart. Maybe reach that right hand towards me, top of the mat. Two, press through that ball of the left foot. Eduardo, lift up a little. Yes. And then reverse the uh, trikonasana. Reach through that left hand. Keep that left leg straight. And exhale, cartwheel those hands down. Turn that right foot in, three to four foot. Drop the heel. Adjust the feet so they hip width apart. And then on an inhale, we'll lift the chest. Press through the ball of the foot. Reach those hands back. We'll take the hands to the elbows behind the back. Reach through the crown. And then next exhale, you can begin to fold in over that leg. Really great alignment of the hips. Fold a little bit deeper. Left hip back, Jamie. Right hip forward, there we go. And then next, inhale. Lift the chest halfway, reach those hands back towards the earth, uh, towards the back room. Left knee bends. We step that right foot forward, Ukatasana, sweep those hands up. And then exhale, stand tall. Take a moment, deep breath in through the nose. Release the breath out through the mouth. Keep the big toes touching, that little space between the heels. We'll come back to Ukatasana, inhale. And exhale, draw those palms of the hands, heart space. We'll twist over to the right. And from here, option to come down onto the balls of the feet. You can bring the hands down and just twist over that right shoulder as the option, yeah? Second option would be to hook that left elbow. Bring the hands to the earth, shoulder width apart and then maybe lift those legs up from the earth into an arm balance. Otherwise we're gazing back, lifting belly up off the thigh. Nice, Lewis. Great, maybe extend the legs. Ooh, everyone almost, well done. Come back through center and then we'll just fold forward over those legs. You can take the feet hip width apart, lift length and spine, inhale. Take peace fingers to the toes, exhale, folding in. Elbows out wide, chin in towards the chest, crown of the head towards the floor. Shift the weight fold into the tops of the feet without lifting the heels and then spread the glutes wide. And then on your next inhale, just lift the chest, keep hold of the toes, bend those knees and come down onto the sit bars. And draw those feet up. You yeah. can take arms to the inside if you would like, or you can start to extend. Lift the chest, bend those elbows. Right. For three. We are going to come into halasana, so onto the shoulders if you have neck issues if you're in your cycle you're just going to keep the legs here otherwise we're going to roll back we can keep the bind of the toes if that feels okay for you and just roll onto the shoulders here halasana keep the chin into the chest keep hold of the feet if you can it takes a couple rolls take a couple rolls stay where you are and back onto the shoulders for three two and one you're going to let go of the toes but stay on the shoulders and we're going to come back up to ukatasana so bend the knees 
soles of the feet to the floor and reach those arms up with momentum. If it cut, takes a couple, great, Abby. And sit down low, bring the palms of the hands, heart space. We'll twist over to the left, hook that right elbow. And again, option to come onto the balls of the feet, bring the hands down and gaze over that left shoulder. So option one. Yeah, option two would be to bring the palms of the hands down, shoulder width apart, hook that right elbow so the knees up towards the tricep, and then start to shift that weight into the hands. Lifting the feet, yes. Nice, Corinne. Keep that dristy strong, gaze out to the right. Maybe straighten those legs, Woo. two. And one, nice, Abby, we'll come back this position and then we'll fold over those legs take those feet back out to hip width apart we'll bring the palms of the hands underneath the feet toes to touch the creases of the wrist lift the chest length and the spine inhale and then exhale folding chest in towards the thighs chin up into the chest crown of the head towards the floor shifting weight forward into the wrist Last three. Two. And one. You'll keep hold of the feet. You can take back to the peace fingers if you'd like. Yeah, let's all go back to peace fingers. We'll bend those knees and we'll come down to that seat on the sit bones. We'll extend those legs up once again. Draw those elbows in. Now from here, see where you can keep the legs active, the core engaged, and we'll reach those hands forward. Woo. Five, four, three. Might feel like cramp in the hip flexors, two. And one, halasana, hands to the floor, legs roll over the head. If you would like here, you can take those legs out wide. You can also reach those palms back up to the tops of the feet. And you can think about stepping the balls of the feet into the earth. And just for three, two, one. We are with momentum going to come through vinyasa. So it may mean when you roll down, you cross the legs. Press through the hands, shift forward, and then back. Nice. And then we meet in downward facing dog. Right leg goes high, inhale. Open the hip up, exhale, bend that knee. Good. From here, you can keep that right hand glued to the mat. Left hand can come up onto the fingers or off to the side of the mat. Bending that knee hip open a little bit more. Maybe you reach that left hand towards the top of that right foot. But the important thing is the drishti on the mat. Keep that centered gaze and that breath fluid. Three, amazing work. Two, one. We'll bring that left hand back to the floor. We're going to open up the hip completely, come into wild thing. Lift those hips up. Squeeze the glutes, reach that right hand towards me. Stay here, Abby. And on your exhale, right hand to the floor, knee in towards the nose, round and step that foot forward. Crescent lunge, reach those arms up. Good, exhale, palms of the hands to heart space. We'll just soften that left knee a little, draw that left hip flexor forward. Good. And then we'll slowly bring that knee to the earth. And we'll sweep those hands back. You either take an interlace of the hands here, lift the chest, or maybe take hold of the foot. Drawing heel in towards the buttocks. Great. Lifting chest, draw shoulders back, maybe switch that gaze up. Two. And one, a gentle release. Bring those hands to the floor, we'll shift back. Take that block with you. We're going to sit on that block here. Right sit bone on the block. 
head. And then we're going to fold forward, chest in towards the thigh, chin to the shin. Last breath here. And then slowly as you begin to rise up, you're going to take that block with you. You'll step into that right foot. You can place that block to the outside of that right leg, left hand to the block. And we're going to come up into a revolved Trikonasana. So that back heel is on the mat. Right hand reaches, gaze up towards the thumb. We're twisting once again. Three. Drop that heel, Kyle. Jamie, drop that back heel so shorten the stance a little. Two. Drop that heel, Corinne. And one. Right hand sweeps down to that block. Right hand comes out underneath the shoulder. So take that hand off the block for Ardra Chandrasana Half Moon. Flex the foot. Heel in line with the hip. Very nice. Option to bend that knee, take the hand to the foot, kick into the hand, maybe, or hover that right hand above the block on the floor. Maybe take that gaze up, Amber. No. <laughs> and then if you have that bind of the foot release, we're going to come back to warrior two. Yes, soften into that front knee, reverse the warrior inhale. Side angle pose, exhale, elbow to knee, hand to floor, or take the bind. Use that tricep to press the knee away. The knee aligns with the ankle. Option to extend that side angle by reaching that left hand forward. If you haven't got the bind, sit the hips down a little bit deeper. And then if you've got the bind to release it, we'll bring both hands to the inside lizard lunge. You can drop this back knee if you need. You can sway that right knee, move a little side to side. And then we will make our way back to plank pose. If you would like to lift into Kundanyasana, maybe that's an option or we meet in downward facing dog. Nice. Knee to elbow. And then just forward. Yeah. Catch your breath. Left leg goes high, inhale, sweep it up. Open that knee up. Good, you can choose to stay here. Maybe you ground through that right heel a little. Press through that left hand and maybe float that right hand up or out to the side of the mat onto the fingertips. Keep the dristy, fluid breath. Maybe bend that knee, take the hand to the foot. You have the foot kick into the hand. Two. Great, Natalie. And one, right hand back to the earth. Keep that hip open, transition to wild thing. We'll stay where you are. Lift those hips up, squeeze the glutes, open that shoulder, chest, reach with those fingers. Two. Left hand comes down, knee in towards the nose, round. Step that foot forward, crescent lunge, reach those arms up. Yeah, bring the palms of the hands, heart space, draw that right hip forward, soft bend in that back knee. And we slowly lower to the earth. We're going to take that block. We're going to shift back onto that block, left hip, sit bone on top. Oh, no, come back for a moment. And we'll come back to this position. We reach those hands back almost. But out of that one. We can either open the chest here or reach for that foot. Maybe one hand, maybe the other. And draw that heel into the buttocks. Shoulders back. And breathe here for three. Two. 
two. And gentle release, one. Bring those hands to the earth. Because we have that block there, we'll just shift those hips back. Flex that left foot and we'll fold forward over that leg. So again, you can choose if you want that active stretch by pulling the leg in. Last breath. And then slowly you're going to lift up. You'll take that block with you. You'll place that block to the outside of that left foot. We'll come onto the toes of that back foot, step it in, moving into revolved trikonasana. Spread those fingers, left hand to the block, right hand up. That back heel is dropped. That left hip drawing back, right hip slightly forward. Nice, Corinne. Great adjustment. Lift the chest a little bit more, draw that shoulder back. So, and then sweeping that left hand down as you exhale. Left hand takes the block out to the top of the mat, underneath the shoulder, right leg comes up, Ardra Chandrasana, half moon. The foot is flexed. Maybe spread the toes, the heel in line with the hip. Option to bend that back knee. Take the hand to the foot. Or maybe you hover that left hand above the earth or the block. Keep that gaze down or more of a challenge, gaze up. And if you've got the foot, a gentle release of the foot. Lower with control, warrior two. Step it back. Soften into left knee. Reach left palm to the sky. Inhale, reverse. That exhale, side angle pose. Elbow to knee, option one. Hand to floor, option two, or the block. Option three, take the bind. Wherever you're at, press that knee out with the tricep or the elbow. Nice. If you'd like to extend that arm towards the front of the room, if you're not in a bind, Open. Last breath here. Sit down a bit deeper. And then release the bind. Bring both hands to the inside of that left leg. Bend to the knee. Lizard lunge. Lizard lunge. Mm -hmm. Moving a little forward and back, maybe splaying that knee out. Maybe lower. Last couple of breaths. And the option to come back to plank and meet us in downward dog. You can flow through vinyasa or maybe you hook that left knee to the left elbow. Maybe you shift forward, bend the elbows, kundanyasana. Very nice. Can all come down into child's pose, drop the knees, hips back towards the heels, wiggle the hips a little side to side. And then you can slowly press through those hands, begin to rise up onto the knees. We'll drop those hips down towards the floor and then drop those elbows down. So you can lift this left elbow. We'll take that right elbow underneath, right arm underneath. Rest the cheek and then slide that right knee out to the side a little. If this is too much, you can slide so some of you get, got the left knee. If you slide the right knee, you're gonna know what I'm talking about, right. 
There we go. Other right, there we go. If this is too much, you can back it off. Yeah. And sensing this twist and the torso. She dropped the hips and then dropped that left shoulder. Last couple of breaths. And then slowly bringing that left hand back underneath, unraveling and take that right. Actually, let's take both knees out, bring the feet, the soles of the feet to meet. We'll press into those hands and we'll lift up. We're going to take the feet wide into frog pose because this feels so good. Can wiggle those hips a little, drop the elbows, keep shifting those hips back towards heels. And then you can begin to rise up onto the hand. Keep the feet as they are, or the knees, and we're just going to press back onto the soles of the feet into Malasana. And then from here, we're going to take the blades of the feet to parallel the edges of the mat. And then we're going to fold in into a wide leg forward fold. So any variation is okay here. Maybe move the knee, uh, hips side to side, bending the knees. Maybe take one hand underneath to the ankle and then the other. I'm gonna give you about 10 breaths here. So if you feel like you wanna come upside down as well, maybe bring the hands to the floor. So maybe you come into tripod, the crown of the head towards the floor as you lift up onto the balls of the feet. Maybe lift the heels, maybe you come up. Maybe you even just hang in a rag doll, hands to elbows or into crow pose. Anything, again, is valid. Great. Nice, Tracy. Move those hands a little closer to the feet, chest closer. And then we're slowly going to bring those hands back to the floor. Walk those hands forward. We'll drop the knees down. We'll drop the hips down. And we'll come back to that, that sphinx position just to lift that right elbow, left arm threads underneath. Left knee comes out to the side and maybe rest that left cheek. And so if that's too much, again, you can draw that left leg back to the right. Dropping right shoulder. Last couple of breaths. And then you're going to slide that right hand back, elbow back, press up onto the hands. You can slide that right knee back in, flex the feet if that's okay for you. Otherwise, a point of the toes, we draw those hips back towards heels, back into our favorite pose. Allow the knees to slide away a little.
And then you can slowly come up onto the hands. And again, just press back into the feet, back into that malasana spot, move a little side to side. And then you can start to straighten the legs, the blades of the feet parallel, you can wide leg the stance, draw the head a little bit closer as you take hold of the ankles and move the hips a little side to side, crown of the head towards the floor. And so because I'm all about having some fun, <laughs> we're going to take the legs a little bit wider and you're going to bend the knees. So this is just an option. Maybe it's for some of us, maybe it's not. To roll down. <laughs> awesome, yes, come on. <laughs> Tuck your head, roly poly. Awesome, come back up to this position. Does that make you feel like a kid? <sighs> Now from here, you can let go of the feet or stay where you are, or you can take those legs out a little bit wider, drop one heel, maybe the other, come down. Abby has that control. Yep. <laughs> Good, we'll walk those hands forward, side of the legs. This mat's so forgiving. You can move a little side to side, keep the feet flexed. And you can start to move those arms over to the right side. So lift the chest a little and then maybe sweep that left arm up to the sky. Maybe you take that hand behind the head, maybe take hold of the toe. And then you'll sway back through center, releasing those arms over to the other side. To the left side, reach that right arm up. Maybe bend that elbow, hand behind the head. And some really deep stretches today, right? And then we can sweep those hands back through center and then rise up. We'll draw those legs back to the center, shake the legs out. We'll draw the hips towards the heels and then roll down slowly. Tucking the chin, draw those knees into the chest, give yourself a squeeze. You can rock a little side to side. And I'm gonna give you a, a couple minutes to come into an inversion by maybe just lifting the feet above the heart, maybe the hips, maybe use that block to support the hips into a supported bridge. If you'd like to come up into a shoulder stand or back to Halasana, you can as well. If you'd like to come into bridge or wheel, maybe the back feels warm for you to do that. So we do have some time, a couple minutes. If you want to block. And if you've moved into a back bend. When you come down, you'll draw the knees gently into the chest. If you're in shoulder stand, you can stay here as long as you like. As long as we do the counter pose for each position. So, so for shoulder stand, you're coming into fish pose, Natsyasana. If you're in bridge, Maybe a gentle draw of the knees in. 
you've got the legs up. Maybe you take a happy baby if you're supported on that block. With or without the block, you can come into this position. And then just in your own time, it could come into Shavasana. So it might feel great to take one last twist before you rest. Maybe knock the knees over to one side and the other or, or deepen a little. And from Shavasana or that position laying down, we'll bring that left hand to the heart, the right hand to the belly, allow the elbows to be supported on the mat beside you. I'm going to finish the practice with some breath work. I'm going to isolate the breath, that focus to the belly. I invite you just to begin to breathe into the belly. Allow the belly to expand like a balloon and to deflate as you breathe out. Just breathing into that right hand. And breathing out. Just note the count of the breath in the belly. And the length of the breath out. Couple more breaths, breathing into belly. And then you can begin to breathe into the space between the hands, the rib cage. Allow the ribs to expand and to soften. Maybe finding a little more length and space. Just breathing into the ribs. And then bring that breath into the left hand, breathing into that left hand, into the heart, allowing the chest to lift and to soften, to rise, to expand and contract. Just with the breath into that left hand, Top of the chest. And at the bottom of your next exhalation, we'll squeeze pelvic floor, navel center in, squeeze all of that breath out. And then collectively we'll take an inhale, allow the belly to fill the ribs, to fill the chest to lift. So the top of the breath you hold. Take an extra sip of breath in. Allow the chest to lift, 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 holding the breath. And then open the mouth, release the breath out. The bottom of that breath again, squeeze pelvic floor, navel center in. All of the breath is out. Long, deep breath in through the nose. Allow the belly to fill, the ribs to rise, the chest to lift. Top of the breath you hold. Hold, holding, five, four, three, two, release the breath out. Last breath out, you contract pelvic floor, navel center in, hold that breath out. And then long deep breath in. Feeling belly, ribs, up into the heart space, top of the shoulders, holding the breath at the top for as long as possible. 
folding. Squeezing everything into the center of the body. Gaze to the third eye, holding. Only when you're ready, in your own time, you release and you relax. Let go of control over the breath. Allow yourself to be here still.
Start to slowly bring your awareness back into this room. Awareness back to your body. You can return to the intention you may have set or find clarity in that right now as to how you wish to feel. This week ahead. You can start to move into that feeling, moving the body. Maybe drawing the corners of the lips up towards the brow and the smile. Maybe reaching the arms overhead, pointing through the toes. Draw the knees into the chest and give yourself a big squeeze. When you're ready, you can roll over to the right side of your mat. In the next couple of breaths, rise up to find comfort in a seat. Bring the palms of the hands together. Anjali Mudra. You can bow the head down towards the heart, towards the hands. In gratitude, for this practice. For the opportunity to get to know ourselves on a deeper level. Become aware of our thoughts, our feelings. May our practice help awaken those around us. Namaste.